Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator and today we're going to be working on this 1971 Agewood Hellcat It has a V8 2 carb OHV supercharged engine with several swap options and its problems consist of car does not start Tapping from engine bay, the engine has no power, fix and repair all engine problems, fix body parts, other tasks which include increased car tuning by 14 to 19% and refill power steering. So first things first what we're going to do is go into the, the car wash. As always, and give the car a quick wash. Like so. We'll give the interior a detail. We'll then move the car into the garage. Onto lifter B. This car here is part of the story mode, which I am working on in my own time, so for now, we'll be doing the video based on this car. So, car does not start. My first port of call is to go and get the welder. Again, you don't have to do these, but it's all wee extras that I like to do. And we'll give it a quick weld. And then we'll go into the car status, fixed body part, front right fender, hood B, left mirror, rear bumper, rear window, right window, or right headlight, right side mirror, and right tail light. So, what I normally do is just strip the, car, the entire car down, take everything off, fix what I can, and put it back on. That way then you don't miss any parts. don't have to do it this way, but personally this is how I do it. That way then you can't miss anything. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll try and run our tests on the car. Some of these we can't do, such as the OBD. As you can see, this car does not contain an OBD uh, port, so this action cannot be performed. Compression, the engine can't be started, so we can't do the compression test. Electrical, we can do. So the starter V8 needs changed and there's a few electrical components need changed as well. So since we know the starter needs changed, we'll take it off. And we'll go and see what the other components were. If we can find them. Uh, car does not start. Medium fuse A. So, again, another thing I like to do is take the battery out. And we'll put it onto the battery charger. Like so. Might not need it, but it always helps. So, it mentioned fuses. So, we'll take the fuse box cover off. And we'll just run that test again just to remind ourselves of what all needs to come out. So a medium fuse A. Uh, 
So medium fuse A and the alternator. So medium fuse A, medium fuse A, B, C, B, A. So we'll just go and get one of those inventory and we'll go down the shopping list. First of all, you go to electrical, down the shopping list, and I thought medium fuse A would have been at the bottom. No, so what we'll do is we'll clear our shopping list, like so, go back into our inventory, add it. Medium fuse A, buy it. One of them. Put the new one back in. Put the. Or we'll leave it off actually. For now. Now we know the other problem is the alternator. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to run the fuel pressure test. Unfortunately, I can't do that because the car can't be started. So I'm going to drain the radiator, and you'll see why in a wee second. While I'm here, I'm also going to drain the brake servo. Again, these aren't needed to be done, but they do help. So I always do them. Drain the window washer reservoir and the power steering. Also gets drained, like so. Uh, car goes up onto the left. Or no, aye, right, up onto the left. Like so. We'll move the oil drain over. Back to where it came from and then move it over to here or no not letter a letter b i'm so used to working on it letter a and drain again that's just so you don't cause any spillages guys so it's always better to do that another thing i normally do is take the leaves off And just strip them down because I can see the power steering rack needs changed. So all this stuff has to come off on both sides anyway. To gain access to that. So then out comes the suspension arm. And the end link. Inner tie rod, or outer tie rod, sorry. The inner tie rod, the lower suspension arm, and then we repeat the process on the other side. So it comes the wheel hub. We have bearing, brake caliper, brake pad, disc, we hub, the knuckle cover, the suspension arm, or the suspension, I should say, uh, the outer tie rod. The inner tie rod, the end link, the bottom arm, the top arm, like so, and finally out comes the steering rack. So now we can drop the car down again.
and what we'll do is we'll do our inspection tests. These do save time, so it's quite important to do these guys. Again, this will mess parts out because I've took it off or taken them off. But these will help you establish which parts of the car need fixed when it comes to the harder jobs. So then we do the suspension on this side. And that is it done. So now that we've drained all the coolant and things, we can take the radiator out, giving us better access to the engine. Take the belts off. Water pump pulley, water pump. It's okay. Crankshaft comes off. Open air comes off. Time and cover comes off. Again, guys, these can all be fixed to a certain degree. I will demonstrate that to you very soon. Power steering comes out. Uh, cam gear. Fuel filter. The engine manifold. Comes out. The engine head cover. The ignition wires. Uh, first of all, we have to take off the turbo and the. I'm not even sure what that's called. The scoop air filter. The. I can't pronounce that word, sorry, guys. Supercharger comes out. If it'll let me. That comes off. Clip B comes out. There's another clip hidden here. Ignition distributor. The router distributor A. The supercharger intake comes out and um, we'll just have a wee look at our list now while we're here so there's a few things that we know about now again these come out it's best just to uh, Replace the spark plugs guys, so that you know they're working, plus you can put in the high powered ones, particularly for this job, that will go towards the tuning part. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the car up, take the oil pan off, which looks they've seen better days and just check the inside of these now I will be taking all this off even though some of it doesn't need replaced I did see uh, some of the rod caps need replaced which may mean the rods need replaced the push valve rods uh, and to get access to those you need to take these off So, 
that comes off. Comes off. Again, guys, in the bigger jobs like this, you do have to search and take other parts off to get access to certain parts of the car. So this is quite a common practice. Dismantling something that seems fine, but you need to do it to get access. Like so. So that leaves the car looking like that so far. Bar one. Yep, so we have the bottom end stripped out. The car comes down again. And off come the rocker arms. As you can see a few of them are damaged. I'm just going to take them all off just to be double, doubly sure. Again, there's nothing worse than building the car back up to then discover that you missed something. When you get to this point in the game, your best just to near enough dismantle the car and rebuild it from the ground up. Also, guys, at the time of recording, there is a poll out for F Thunder Thursday. And your stream choices are uh, Trucks and Logistics Simulator, Nathan Drake, Uncharted uh, Collection, Mafia Free, and Car Mechanic Simulator, which you are seeing now. As part of our June targets, we are on the road to 370 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel and enjoying this content, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, donations to the channel are greatly appreciated and can be made via PayPal or stream elements. I will link both... Uh, pages in the description and while you're here why not have your vote on the poll for as I said Thunder Thursday we are also sponsored by Dobby Energy Drinks uh, and you can get 10% off using the code Daniel CFC 24 gaming at the checkout. I will also link that below. It will take you directly to my page and you can purchase your items and use the code to get 10% off. If need be, guys, I can split this into a two part video. Um, but I'm hoping they get into one part. But if need be, it can be me and Andy too. Any inquiries about the channel can be made through the channel's Facebook page, which can be found in my YouTube bio, along with my Instagram. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So out come the cam rods, or the piston with cam rods, sorry. So now we're just going to take our list, make sure we have everything. So far, so good, by the sound of it, or by the looks of it. Yeah. So we're okay for that one. Uh, 
engine has no power we've got all those fix and find and fix all engine problems we've got all them fix body parts which I will do increase tuning of car which I will do refill power steering fluid which I will do so now that we've discovered all the problems we now go to the body repair table and the objective here is to get it into the green part of the meter try again I failed so we're going to need a new hood As you can see, the better the condition, the more green areas you have to aim for. We've just earned a, a trophy called Sculptor. And that is all those parts fixed. Now to go to the brake leave. And we'll go to the part table and fix what we can. Again, a lot of these don't need fixed, but it's always good to do it and you learn more about the game this way. Again, it's practice for me also, so we'll not complain. On the bigger jobs, if you're good enough, this can save you a lot of money doing this. I'll probably end up replacing the supercharger anyway. Ah, I failed. Again guys, the better condition these are in, the more I can sell them for, also, if I don't use them. Also, as I was saying guys, doing these sort of things can give you a lot of money. And can be rather handy. So there we go. So now, what we do is, we establish what all we can reuse. 
Now, power steering pump I could reuse, but I'm going to go and buy the powered version. So we'll go to body tuning or uh, engine tuning, and it is worth uh, one point three percent. Now our target is. I'll just double check that actually. Fitting in the alternator, which is worth 1.5%. Our new target, our target for the car is 14, anything between 14 and 19%. Oh, there is there a sports camshaft. Yes. So, sports camshaft is worth 2.75%. Cam gear, which needs a replacement one. Fuel filter can go back in. That can go back in. Ignition distributor. We need a new one. I don't think there's a... Well, there is. So, ignition distributor... There is a upgraded version. Cap, I doubt there is. Yes, Jesus. The cap is worth 1.5. Now, clip B goes there. Clip B goes there. We back out and we know we need uh, we need two piston with cam rods so what we'll do is one two and we'll add two of those at 1.13% Again, guys, be careful not to over uh, do the car as the game won't accept it if it's above the targets. Engine heads, we'll just put on the ordinary ones. Exhaust manifold, we'll put on the tuned ones. A lot of the time you do have to go back and forward guys to do this um, sort of job because you have to check the the power outage spark plugs now it said we only need a new a couple of new spark plugs but what I normally do is I just buy all new ones so you don't get caught out spark so we'll buy nine of those. Nine standard spark plugs. They come as that. Cam rods go on on this side. Ooh. So we'll buy three new rings as well. So we'll go down to ring. One, two, three. Open the iPad. Go to ordinary shop. And we'll go to power shop actually. Tuning shop, they don't have them, so we'll go back to the main shop, buy three rings,
on that goes. Then goes the standard spark plugs. Like so. And on goes the exhaust manifold modified. And then we'll put on the supercharger intake manifold. I don't know if there's a modified version of that. Yes, there is. And it adds 2%. So that's quite handy. We'll add the supercharger. Which adds 4%. So that's 6% on its own, guys. Just from those two items. And then we'll start to build the engine out. Cam gear. I don't know if there's a cam gear. No, it's not. So it's just a standard cam gear. I think we need a time chain, do we? Yes, we do. Time and chain. Time and cover. Again, guys, some of these items were too damaged. I was unable to fix them. So there is certain things you have to buy. Water pump. Pa pump pump. Water pump pulley. Serpentine. And crankshaft, which I'm nearly sure there is a... No? Christ. I thought there was a... Modified version of crankshaft pulley, bolt B, bolt A, radiator fan, radiator. So then that leaves body parts and refill power steering. So as you can see guys, we have increased the car by 14 or 19%. So I don't need to add in any more modified parts. I can just repair the car entirely now. So we'll go ahead and do that. I will still run it through the dyno just to see how much power we actually created. Power steering fluid. Like that. And as you can see guys, but we have completed the category other tasks. So now we'll move on to body parts. Now the one body part I couldn't fix is a hood B. And to get that we go to body tuning shop. And we go hood B. Front right fender, which I fixed. Door, which I managed to fix. 
mirror again which I managed to fix and then it's that leaves left side mirror rear bumper rear window right headlight B right tail light B so a right headlight B and right tail light B so like that goes in bumper number plate that goes back on fender goes back on glass goes back in you were fixed and you were fixed the rear window we need a new one of so we go into ordinary shop now ordinary body shop that is and we go to rear window trunk gets added rear bumper gets added tail light one I have a feeling we'll need to buy one of those so I'm just gonna go into Hellcat, go to left tail light, do that, do that, and that is all body parts fixed guys. We'll just now add in the glass on this side, like so. The windshield. back in fans go back oh we need a new fan so we'll go back to main shop air scoop filter supercharger So now it's just a spark plug somewhere. I thought I replaced all the spark plugs. Oh, I missed one. The old wires can go back on. So it looks like that. Uh, crankshaft bearing cap, which can do blow the car, rocker arms, push valve rod. So we'll go here, just line it up, and we'll go there. We'll buy a new, how many new push valve rods do we need? One. Push valve rod. So I'll line her up like so. Add it to my shopping list. Purchase one. And just put it straight in. On goes the arm. Again guys, I know there's a couple of uh, arms need replaced, but we'll do them when we come to them. I 
At the moment, they're looking as though they're going to be on the other side anyway. Yeah, they are. Again guys, I'm hoping to get all this done in the one video. So now we'll just add radiator fluid. That's been enough. Uh, we'll put on the fuse box cover. Since it's fine. We'll Add in the brake servo fluid. Like so. And now we'll go and fix the other rocker arm and the push valve rod which are on this side again I'll just buy another one just to be sure how many rocker arms is it we need because I'll buy them as well Two rocker arms. Still. Rock. R O C. Rock. Rocker arms. A few more to go. Two more. But I'm gonna to need to buy those because we're still running low. Uh rod. We're still getting problems. With a push valve rod. And rubber arm. We're going to need to buy a couple of those. Two more, I imagine. We'll buy four just to be sure. Like so. On goes the engine head. And we've now hit level. 29 guys so what we need to replace now is a crankshaft bearing cap so hood down car goes up and I'm going to rebuild the suspension now
we'll just very quickly flay through this. I might simply buy a uh, new brake pads, guys, so that we don't get caught out. Brake caliper, the suspension, and light. And goes the steering rack. The inner tie rod, the outer tie rod, and the wheel. And now we'll just repeat on the far side. Again, guys, please remember to uh, leave your comments below. And if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And head to the community tab and cast your vote for Thunder Thursday. At the time of recording, you have over. 24 hours, so that gives you plenty of time to cast your vote. And I'll see you all on Thunder Thursday. Also, between now and then, stay tuned for the uh, Dubby Energy Drink review. We are proudly sponsored by Dubby. Uh, if you use the code DANIELCFC24 Gaming at the checkout, you will get 10% off. So stay tuned for the review video, which I hope to have in the coming days. And then the inner tie rod. And last but not least, the outer tie rod and the wheel. So that just leaves us with the oil pan and a crankshaft bearing cap to fix. So now what do I do? Fit all your rod caps first. This makes it easier to track. So we only need one of those, so I'll just fit it now. So it's done. So on goes your crankshaft bearing cap. Your rod cap. Be careful not to miss any of these guys. A tip you will get is... You'll know you've got them all when the oil pan pops up before you fit it. The oil pan won't pop up if there's something missing from this po this portion of the car. So, uh... You'll always know, guys, there's something missing if the oil pan doesn't pop up. Like I said, there goes your oil pan. Oh, we missed. Same. Oh, the starter. So then, you can bring the car down, guys. Or no, can you do it from the bottom? I'm not sure. Yep, so you're best to do that from the bottom, guys. So add it to your shopping list. Go to Electrical Shop. Start a V8. Purchase it. Unfortunately, it can't be fixed. 
and then bring the car down guys like so open the bonnet one last time and add in oil so the car will run and then we'll run it through the dyno and that'll be us So then, now that we've added oil, guys, close the hood. Transport the car to the dyno. Like so. The engine cannot be started. Why? Hmm. Is there not enough oil? Oh, the battery's missing, that's why, guys. So, we'll go back to the workshop. Or no, do you know what? Let's buy a battery, it's quicker. So, battery. Food. Hopefully, unlike me, guys, you'll remember the battery. Do you not need to buy a new one? Fit the battery, close the hood, run the dyno, run the dyno test. Okay, and guys, this age with Hellcat. And as you can see, we have completed the tuning uh, with an increase of 17.6%. And our target was between 14 and 19. So we still had room, guys. And that is us for this job. So we'll go to car status, finish order. Rear license plate is missing. Lovely. Set the rear license plate. And as I said, go to car status finish. And that is us, guys. That's it for this episode. I've been Daniel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to the community tab and have your vote. I'll see you all again soon, leave your comments below, and goodbye. Thank you very much for watching.